According to the director, because the movie defied easy description or categorization, audiences were quick to denounce it and took joy in it receiving an F from Cinema Score. After I had a chance to see Mother, I was even more disturbed by this rush to judgment, and that's why I wanted to share my thoughts. People seemed to be out for blood, simply because the film couldn't be easily defined or interpreted or reduced to a twa-word description. Is it a horror movie, or a dark comedy, or a biblical allegory, or a cautionary fable about moral and environmental devastation may be a little of all of the above, but certainly not just any one of those neat categories. Scorsese neglects to mention that Mother is technically above water on Rotten Tomatoes with a 68% score. Good films by real filmmakers aren't made to be decoded, consumed or instantly comprehended, Scorsese wrote. They're not even made to be instantly liked. They're just made because the person behind the camera had to make them. Certainly, Scorsese is correct that Rotten Tomatoes fails to award divisive, challenging films for attempting to do something beyond the norm, to ask more of their audiences. Read in aggregation, the totality of reviews for a film that pokes at convention or aspires to deliver something that doesn't fall into established movie-going sweet spots, can give the impression that movie is not of quality. Many arthouse productions fall into this valley. And, yet, when turning to Rotten Tomatoes to judge movies that are conventional, that are corporate blockbuster fodder, the site is unquestionably useful. While the tomato meter is perhaps not the best tool for judging Mother, it is relevant and helpful for vehicles such as this summer's King Arthur Legend of the Sword which lies at 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's all a matter of how one uses it, much as critics are only useful in so much as you trust or agree with their opinions.